Hey everyone, I'm Jason O'Dell and thanks for joining me today. I've got a quick tip for you for Friday. Uh, and this is a real cool thing if you're working with either Lightroom or Adobe Camera Raw for your images and how to get more dynamic range out of that image without having to do any HDR. Now, um, an often overlooked panel in Lightroom. So let's go over to Lightroom. An offer, often overlooked panel in Lightroom is this one called the Camera Calibration Panel. And most of the time, when you're working on a RAW file, if you haven't changed anything, it's going to be set to something called Adobe Standard Profile. So if you look right down here in the, under Profile, it says Adobe Standard. You, you can change these. You can actually change them based on the camera that you have. Um, so my default is to use one that matches the Nikon uh, Standard Profile, or the Nikon Picture Control Standard. But when you get into an image that's got a lot of dynamic range, you might maybe you're clipping highlights or maybe you just need to recover more highlight and shadow detail. Before you go into your sliders, before you start pulling those highlight and shadow sliders apart um, and really working on your image, you can change the camera profile to something that's got a flatter tone curve. Now on Nikons, that would mean switching to something like camera neutral or if your camera supports it, um, the more... Uh, recent cameras have one called camera flat and while this looks pretty awful on the screen uh, low low saturation low contrast you can look at the histogram and you notice that it's it's been compressed now what do you do if you don't have the camera flat setting for your camera maybe you're not using a Nikon camera or maybe you're using an older camera that doesn't have that setting is there still a way to get a very low contrast image? Well, the answer is yes, and I want to show you how to do that. The trick is going to be using a custom camera profile that we make to generate what's called a linear camera curve. So what you're going to do is uh, go into your image, and you don't need to do any adjustments to it. You can just leave it right where it is. I'm just going to leave mine right, right where it was at, at camera standard. And what you want to do in Lightroom is you want to right click on your image and choose export and what we're going to do is we're going to choose export to DNG. Now I don't use the DNG pro, uh, format normally for my images, I just leave them in my NEF format, but for this we're going to go to DNG because it's a requirement of some software. So I'm going to export to DNG, I'm going to save it just to my desktop, click open, and um, it, it's going to export that one file, and and there it is on my on my desktop. So um, the next step before you go any farther, uh, go ahead and quit Lightroom, okay? Uh, because you're going to need to quit this and relaunch it anyway. So go ahead and quit Lightroom or quit Camera Raw, and um, then we can go into the next program. The next program you're going to want to use is one called the DNG Profile Editor. Okay, now this one you've got to download from Adobe. It's, it's freeware. It's available from adobe.com. Just do a search for the DNG Profile Editor. And once you open it up, uh, you install that software, open it up, and choose File, Open, DNG Image. And we're going to go to the desktop, and there's my DNG file. Just click Open. And it's going to load up. Okay. I don't need to touch anything here. All I'm going to do with this image is I'm going to go back to this thing called the recipes. I'm going to just bring that up front and center. And the base profile you can leave alone. I'm going to leave it as camera standard. That sets my colors. But click on the tone curve tab. And instead of choosing the base profile for the base tone curve, choose linear. And you're going to see that really makes this look kind of dingy. And then go over to the Options tab and call this profile Linear. Okay? That's it. Then you go to File, Menu, Export, and in this case it's going to show your camera. So mine was a D810, but if you were using a Canon or a Fuji or whatever, any camera, you can do this for. Let's click Export. It's going to give it a name and click, go ahead and click Save. Now I've already done this, so I I'm just going to click Cancel, but go ahead and click Save. It'll save it. And then you can quit uh, the DNG Profile Editor. You don't need to save anything. And we're done. Now, go back to Lightroom. Relaunch it.
It's very important that you relaunch Lightroom or Camera Raw, otherwise this profile won't take effect. It won't be in your menus. Go back to your camera calibration menu, pull down the choice. Now you see I have linear. And this gives you an incredibly flat profile. Look at the histogram up here. I'm going to make this a little bit bigger for you. Look at this histogram. It's not only shifted to the left, I can pull my exposure, but um, the highlights, the shadows, everything is contained in this image. Now compare that with the standard profile. You can see there's a lot more contrast. So the good news about this linear profile is it recovers a tremendous amount of highlight and shadows on its own without you having to move sliders. The bad news is that you get kind of a, a crummy flat image, okay? And when you do that, you're gonna have to put in the, the time uh, and effort to adjust the contrast. But what's great about this is you can put that that effort in to adjusting the dynamic range of the image to the way you see fit so that you've got the, the contrast and the shadows and the highlights and the blacks wherever you want them. And you can sometimes pull out more color in these highlights. So if we just go back here and um, go to the, um, the same place I was before. So here's the final image that I worked up after applying the flat or in this case linear profile and then I ran it through Photoshop and, and some, some tools. So to learn more about this to create images like this um, check out my guides to Lightroom and Photoshop available at www.luminescentphoto.com. I thank you once again for joining me. Have a great weekend. See ya.